Hello. Let's talk about atoms. We did a presentation in class. This is a quick review. All right. Let's advance to the next slide. Okay, so what color should I choose? Let's choose purple. All right, so atoms, they contain in their nucleus, I'm going to go with purple equals pro protons. Okay, so they have protons in their nuclei. They also have, we'll go orange, they also have neutrons in their nuclei. Okay, we're going to go this equals neutrons. Okay, and circling around them, they're going to have And this is an electron. Okay, so this is the relative positions. These are the relative positions of all the things in the atom. Okay, let's make it a little bit narrower here. This is the nucleus. The nucleus is comprised of protons and neutrons. Okay and the electrons orbit around the nucleus. You can pretty much think of this, if the nucleus were the sun of our solar system, then the electrons would be like the planets, okay? And depending on how big our, the particular solar system is you're talking about, you'll have more or fewer planets. Let's get into some more detail. Okay, so uh, now let's say you have, uh, let's say we have what? Go back to protons. Let's say you have one two, three protons, okay? Protons are positively charged. I believe I used orange for neutrons. Here's the neutrons, okay? Neutrons are no charge. And if I want to make this atom, this particular atom, if I want to make it a an atom that is neutral, then I better have one, two, three electrons zipping around this particular atom, okay? And electrons are negatively charged, all right? So here, if we can see this all together now, we'll switch to black here. I'll go over here. I have three positive charges because I have three new, uh, protons. I have three negative charges because I have three electrons. And I have three of the no charge. Okay, if I add all that up together, that's three plus, plus three minus, plus three zero is equal to zero charge. Okay, so this is a neutral atom. Okay, this particular one here is a neutral atom because I have three positives, three negatives, and since the neutrons have no charge, they don't change it one way or another. Okay, now, on to the last topic here. All right. The atomic number is equal to the number of protons, okay? The mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, okay? Now, the way that looks on the periodic table is like this. Here's your element. Let's say I'm going to go hydrogen. If I go hydrogen, there's going to be a number up here, and then there's going to be another number, and I'll just put it in purple, although it's usually not in purple. Like that. All right. This is the atomic number, and this is the mass number. Okay, so anyway, that's the structure of the atom, 
and that's how to read the periodic table.